Hey everyone, we've already done a few videos on NFTs and crypto, but what they all lead to is the metaverse. And that's what we're going to learn all about today in today's video. Welcome to the metaverse. So right now, I'm sure some of you are asking, so what is the metaverse? The answer to what is the metaverse can be a little confusing because it is very unclear at the time of this video. The website digitaltrends.com says the metaverse is the future of the internet. So what this means is the metaverse brings a person into a virtual world where people can live, work, shop, and interact through their avatars, which are like figures that act as you or your character inside the metaverse. Right now, this is happening, but this new metaverse allows people to be directly inside instead of scrolling through the internet like we do now. Instead, you'll be able to be inside and actually interact with the internet or metaverse. People will be able to share what they are doing on the internet with each other through virtual reality in real time. To make it easier to understand, the metaverse is the expansion of the technology for the internet as we know it today. If you've ever played the game The Sims, Roblox, or Fortnite, well, think of the metaverse as their cousin, but way bigger and way stronger. In the metaverse, you're not controlling your character with a controller. It's kind of like a video game, but not like a video game. We'll explain. Instead, you will actually be inside all that the internet has to offer as the digital avatar or character of yourself that you created. For example, imagine being able to watch your favorite soccer or baseball team play from any angle in virtual reality. Or another example, imagine it being like you're in the front row at your favorite rock concert and you never even had to leave your living room. You will do this with virtual reality, AKA VR headsets. And hey, guess what? Did you know that the term or the word metaverse comes from science fiction? In his futuristic novel, Snow Crash, written in the year 1992, the author, Neil Stevenson, used the word metaverse to describe a 3D virtual world full of avatars portraying real people. And since the novel, metaverse has been used by many different people describing many different things. And the New York Times explained it like this, and I quote, the metaverse refers to a variety of virtual experiences, environments, and assets that gained momentum during the online everything shift of the pandemic. And together, these new technologies hint at what the internet will become next. What does that mean? And don't worry if that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's really because this description of Metaverse is something that doesn't technically exist yet. Currently, there are many companies constructing digital worlds inside the Metaverse. But the way they are imagined by science fiction writers is still a very long way from being real. So what does Metaverse look like now? Good question. According to another website, TheVerge.com, the metaverse is partly a dream for the future of the internet and partly a neat way to encapsulate some current trends in online infrastructure, including the growth of real-time 3D worlds. 
Right now, we can already see small pieces of what the metaverse will become in games like Roblox and Fortnite. Games like these allow players to explore enormous and growing digital worlds with the use of their avatars or character. Already, many users are now creating their own experiences with Hangout Spaces, and these spaces are becoming more and more common. These Hangout Spaces allow people the chance to connect with each other virtually without playing the game itself. Companies like Facebook, now known as Meta, are also creating their own vision of the metaverse. The company plans on spending around $10 billion or more on something they call Reality Labs. This is by constructing virtual meeting spaces that will allow their employees to connect using VR and AR technology. Do you know what AR stands for? No. It stands for augmented reality. Cool. Yeah, it is. These virtual and augmented reality devices will let you feel as though you're inside and actually interacting with others in real time. Meta isn't the only company interested in the metaverse. What's their name again, Facebook? Meta. And what are we learning about? Metaverse. See the connection? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Companies like Microsoft, Roblox, and Epic Games are just some of the other companies working on their own metaverses as well. If everyone involved in building the metaverse happens, scrolling through the internet will soon become as obsolete as VHS tapes and payphones. Do you even know what those are? No. Well, some of you watching do. <laughs> and although Facebook or Meta have been working on their vision of the metaverse, they admit the metaverse is still a ways off, but parts of it are already here. However, the metaverse isn't just about digital experiences. Like I mentioned earlier, cryptocurrency and NFTs allow the metaverse to become a digital economy as well. In fact, we have videos about NFTs as well as crypto that we're going to link below in the description. The metaverse is the technology and experience that brings all of these other things together. Pretty soon all people will know what the metaverse is, but for right now it is still very unclear to many people. So we hope that this video helps you understand the metaverse just a little bit more. Well hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit about the metaverse. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. Sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye. See you in the metaverse.